Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Surge XT synthesizer to FL Studio. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to this website here, surgesynthesizer.github.io. I'll put the link for this in the description so you can get to it easily. This is a pretty awesome synthesizer, a lot of features, a lot of different effects. You can see here on this screenshot that there's all kinds of controls and things you can do with it. So to get started here, we're just gonna wanna download the synthesizer um, on Windows. So I'm just gonna hit download for Windows here. You can also download for other platforms and installers if you need to. So I'll just go ahead and click download for Windows and let that download here. All right, so once that's downloaded, I'm just going to click on the file that says setup.exe at the end. All right, I'll hit yes. Accept the agreement. Leave all of these checks. I'm gonna do full installation and hit install. And then it will install all of the files and the synthesizer. You can see there's a ton of stuff being downloaded, a lot of effects, a lot of sounds, sound files. All right, and that's done, so click finish. Now we can head over to FL Studio. I have a just a new project opened up. So we're gonna go over to add and then manage plugins right here. All right, so here's our plugin manager. And wherever you installed all the files to for the synthesizer in that installation setup, you're gonna wanna make sure that folder is selected here under the plugin search paths, otherwise it will not be able to find it. So mine should be good to go already. I'm going to just hit find installed plugins up here and it's gonna go through searching through all of these folders here in my search paths and look for any plugins that are not yet um, in FL Studio. All right, so you can see it's going through all of those. And there we have Surge XT and Surge XT effects there. All right, if we scroll down, you can see there they are. Surge XT, Surge XT effects. All right, so the plugins are installed and FL Studio was able to find them, so that's good. Okay, so then to open up the synth, we're gonna go to the channel rack, hit the plus sign right here, and there you can see Surge XT right here. I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna load the plugin and open it up for us. By default, it's just set to this saw, but you can click on this patch browser here up at the top, and you can see there's all kinds of really cool sounds and instruments that you can use. So we can select that one if we want. Then if we go over to the piano roll, we can test this out. All right, so that's working. We can create patterns if we want. All right, so that's how you use it in the piano roll and everything. And that is the synthesizer successfully installed. And if I wanna add it to the mixer, I can just choose an empty insert here, right click, channel routing, route selected channels to this track. And now the Surge XT is gonna be coming through when we play it on here. There you go, you can see it's coming through our mixer now and we can add more plugins and more effects to that right there. All right, so that is just how you install this synth. I will be making another video soon on how to use it and I'll go through all the different features and effects you can use with it. Uh, but for now, that's just the installation. If you liked this video, please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment with any questions, it really helps out the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.